Hi, I'm Dylan, and today we're going to go over the mechanics of making your own smart key presets. To create your new key layout, go to the Layout tab, and choose a new layout. Select the first key you'd like to program, and go up to Display. You have some options between Draw Text, Image, Clock, CPU Status, Memory Status, and Network Speed. We'll start with Draw Text. I'll enter the text I like to use. Split clip. Choose the font style and size. 10 works pretty well for these keys. Text color. Go to Action, choose the drop menu. We can choose from Simple Hotkey, Execute, Simple String, Macro Function, Multimedia, and Reminder. Simple Hotkey will work since we're working within a DAW. To do Split Clip in Ableton, it is simply Control and E. To save, click on the next one. Go up to display. We'll work with an image. Image allows you to choose a picture from your files on your desktop. Let's do pause. Now that the image is loaded, you can choose the key command. Likewise in Ableton, the hotkey is space. On the next key, I'll put a CPU meter, because I tend to run one or two applications at the same time. On the next slide, we'll work with Execute. It allows you to use an application other than the one you're working in. I'll choose an image, like Ableton Live. For the action, it'll be an execution. It'll ask for a target or command key. Find out what that is for your application. Go into your finder, locate, right click, select properties. On the first tab for shortcut, there should be a target. Highlight it, copy it, and paste into the command function. Next, we will talk about multimedia. This refers to the media player that is inside your computer. Whether it is iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, the controls for these can all be done with the keys. Select an image, like rewind. Under action, choose multimedia. The hot key will be used as previous track. Once you have your smart key layout ready, go up to the Layout tab and name your preset. With the rest of the layouts, check the ones you do and do not want, and then hit Save and Exit. They're now ready for you to use. So for Ableton, click it once, and it launches the app. Once inside, all I have to do is click which one I want, exit, and re-enter Ableton. See? It's easy. For the first time, you can have complete control of your session from the comfort of the keys. This is only available in the Cami, and if you have more questions, please contact us at www.musiccomputing.com. Once again, I'm Dylan. Thank you.